Hi guys, uh, yesterday I went to TED conference uh, with my friends, we really had fun there and it was amazing and I definitely recommend you to uh, attend this event because it's amazing and if you have a chance please do it and it was the most useful and entertainment uh, experience which I had so far and if you don't, uh, what's the TED conference mean? Uh, it means um, non-profit uh, devo devoted ideas worth spreading, and uh, it brings the people uh, together. And there are speakers uh, who tell their journeys, their experience, and their um, problems that they want to solve uh, to like this so yesterday uh, yesterday's team was um, uh, empathy for change and there were 14 speakers in text moda in Kadras University and sure I won't explain all of them but some of them uh, really draw my attention for example uh, Matthias uh, Scheffelmeyer and he talked about uh, changing uh, his world and the world and uh, he mentioned that there are organizations that gathering people and ask them to find the problem, problems in their country, society, neighborhood and with a solution of course and they uh, listen people's ideas I think it's a uh, great thing and it's a good idea and also he compared uh, his parents time to now and uh, his parents used to uh, send letters with each other to communicate and uh, now you know there are Facebook Twitter and uh, as an example of communication for now he said uh, don't talk to me, just send me a tweet. He's a very um, funny man. And he talked about uh, develop skills of uh, empathy for children. I mean, how is it possible? Uh, there is a research about that they uh, gather around uh, kindergarten children in a circle and they put a baby in the middle of the circle. So, uh, you know, the baby won't speak. And uh, their empathy of um, a skill will develop like that. And there are lots of important informations that uh, are talked in TED conference, and most of them are very interesting. And uh, when uh, Matthias was talking about inventors, he mentioned a guy named um, Kartik. He's an Indian and in 2011, um, because of his daughter uh, illness, he needed a blood transfer but he couldn't find a regular blood transfer. So uh, he created the social blood and it's a, a network that connects blood donors and uh, recipients and some blood types through Facebook. And you can see the nearest people who is uh, blood type uh, same with yours. And I mean, look at him. It's, um, he found a solution not just for his family or not just for himself. It's for everyone. And um, what else? Uh, in the end of uh, his speech, he said uh, everything around you is called life made by uh, people who weren't smarter than you. He is right. I mean, this uh, sentence is very inspired me because most people think that um, people who are around them are sm smarter than they, so they do nothing because uh, they accept the idea of uh, they are smarter than them. Anyway, uh, another speaker was uh, Melek um, Platkonda. 
she was talking about network change and business life and she is said uh, while you are you are building a career uh, you will be uh, building a trust and it is the most important thing in business life and as an example of uh, building trust uh, she showed the picture of crocodile and bird and a cro crocodile's mouth was opened and inside of the uh, his uh, mouth there was a bird and you know the bird was uh, trusting the crocodile so uh, he's sitting on his mouth because he's uh, cleaning his teeth and isn't that amazing and the uh, um, most interesting thing about in the world yeah, in the same time because when you think like that uh, animals doing something that people don't do so another speaker that I admire is uh, Sean um, B.W. Parker and he's a stammerer and uh, his actual name was uh, Benjamin William Parker but when uh, he was working a job requires to answer the phones while uh, he was talking um, he is having problems to say B of Benjamin so he said um, I asked to myself if I change my name for purposes of work then uh, he changed his name to Sean and he talked about the stammer and expressed the feeling of uh, being stammer like this there is feeling that brain working faster and more effectively than the mouth and to slow down the stammer, he said, try to separate words and not scared of uh, making mistakes. Nothing wrong if you're trying to speak. And he also said that stammer people uh, do, uh, manage to do these things uh, when become older. And he said, uh, we need to learn, uh, enjoy the stammer not uh, fear mistakes or social pressure I'm very proud of him because uh, Stammerer didn't prevent him to talk in uh, his life and uh, there in the TED conference so uh, this experiment taught me lots of things uh, one of them is if you really want something uh, work harder and get it and another thing is don't feel scared about what you have and don't live for people live for yourself and use your opportunities live uh, more happier successful and to help uh, you progress in your life thank you for watching me see you